In early 2013, Mack Trucks brought to market what can safely be called a revolutionary new tandem drive axle suspension. Called the Twin Y, Mack has successfully replaced the typical Z-shaped airbag support spring. The Twin Y features two stamped high-strength steel Y-shaped brackets that are shackled to the frame at the narrow end, while the axle itself is cradled in the wide end of the Y bracket with upper and lower axle seats. Mack says the two Y-blades reduce torque-induced suspension wind-up under acceleration and braking while providing a great deal more lateral stability. That keeps the axles properly aligned with the center line of the truck even in cornering maneuvers. And that, Mack says, can reduce tire scrubbing and irregular wear by as much as 25%. That sounds great on paper, but how does it perform? Well, we took a Mack Pinnacle equipped with the Twin Y suspension around the track at Mack's now-retired Allentown Proving Grounds and ran it across a few of their test obstacles to check out their performance. As you'll see, the track is no powder puff and neither is the Twin Y suspension. First, the easy part, a section of roadway meant to simulate a potholed highway. We were running along the highway suspension test here. We're going to check out the articulation in the Twin Y suspension as we go over these ruts deliberately cut into the pavement to simulate ruts and holes on interstates. You'll see the twin Y articulating up and down as well as sideways lateral movement in there to take out some of the stress off the axle and the frame. It's designed to do that and that's what gives it the extra stability and the really really smooth ride. Those grooves in the pavement are about an inch and a half deep and replicate a layer of asphalt coming away from the highway. The suspension took most of the abuse, leaving the driver, me, relatively unscathed. Here's Max, marketing product manager for On Highway Trucks, Jerry Warncastle, explaining how the suspension design works. The axles 100% ride via the air spring, and that's why you're getting a better ride with that than you did with the old Z-type racket, where it was supported partially on the airbag and partially on the Z-spring and has virtually no torque reactivity whatsoever. So when you get on that throttle or you have a hard braking circumstance, it stays very, very level and, and stable. The cornering ability of the Twin Y, because of the lateral stability, again, based on, on the design, is far superior to anything we've had before. It's, it's almost like the difference between making a quick lane change with a Chevy Caprice or a BMW. Next, we took the truck over to what Mack calls the rutted road test. To a highway truck, this would be like driving through a poorly maintained truck stop parking lot or an off-road situation. The holes are between 8 and 10 inches deep. This gives you some idea of how much articulation there is in the Twin Y suspension and how it handles very uneven ground. And now we're heading into the unpaved road area. This one's designed more for vocational suspensions, but it'll give the Twin Y a pretty good workout. First challenge is called the Rut Road. It's a pretty deep offset uh, trays here where one side of the suspension will dip down first and then as the other side goes through it it'll dip down on the other side and in each of the ruts you'll see there's ridges put into them to really give the suspension a bit of a workout. So I imagine that uh, twin Y is just bobbing up and down there right now. Okay we're just getting warmed up the worst is yet to come. Over here is the curved washboard test. You can see it's a series of raised ridges about six inches high and unevenly spaced. Toward the end, it curves, adding a lot of lateral stress to the suspension as well as the vertical stresses. This course is called the curved washboard. Same as the other one, for a bit, it's straight, unevenly spaced, humps in the road to give the suspension a bit of a workout, and then they throw in a little bit of a curve as well, which adds a bit more stress to the suspension. We're going into the curve right now. Twin steel blades of the suspension keep the axles perfectly aligned with the truck and the airbags, not the mounting shackles, are supporting the full weight of the load. The axle seats are clamped to the axle housing by Huck U-bolts on both sides and as a bonus to the maintenance department, they never need to be retorqued. Our final test of the Twin Y comes on this ugly piece of ground, just a series of randomly placed rocks embedded in concrete and a tight turn to make matters just a little bit worse for the suspension. Here comes the rocky curve. This is a nasty bit of business. Engineers have embedded fairly large rocks into concrete. Random, of course, different sizes, large ones and small ones. So as the suspension absorbs the up and down movement from the rocks as it passes over them, it's also got to deal with the 
turning forces, the lateral forces that are put on the suspension by the truck and the road and, of course, the bumps. Back on level ground, well-paved interstate is a cakewalk for the Twin Y. It's a very stable-feeling suspension with a smooth, sure-footed ride. Out on a road like this, there's not much for the Twin Y to do but keep the axle straight and absorb a few random bumps. But you'll be surprised to hear there's something in the Twin Y for the operations people to like as well. Jerry? It's hard to believe, as, as well as it handles and rides, that it can be up to 405 pounds lighter than other air suspensions. 400 pounds is a huge amount of weight to take off a truck these days, and as you just saw, there's no trade-off in performance or durability. I think Mac has a winner here. It's a truly unique suspension that breaks the mold of the typical Z-spring arrangement, and it does so with startling results. At Max Customer Care Center in Allentown, Pennsylvania, I'm Jim Park for today's Trucking's Ultimate Test Drive Series. Drive safe and keep your seatbelts fastened.